Right, hello and welcome to a new video. Tomorrow is the old firm derby from when this video comes out, but I am interviewing someone very special today. Look, we have Juddy from the Juddy Talks YouTube channel. I will obviously include all your links down below, but firstly, can you just let everybody know where they can find you? Uh, Juddy Talks on, on uh, YouTube and then Juddy on Instagram and Juddy on Twitter as well. So. And you're a huge Celtic fan, so we're going to be talking about uh, the old firm derby today and what it means to you and to everyone else of Glasgow. Yeah. So to everyone, please hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. Let's go and uh, talk about the old firm. Well. Of course. Yeah. Obviously the old firm derby is probably going to be tomorrow for when this video gets uploaded. Yep. Rangers drew with Ross County, of course, we know about that, the last minute yep. uh, equaliser there. Celtic won their game yep. later that day here against Dundee United, set up a mouth-watering tie. How was the atmosphere that day and how was that goal celebration? The vlog looked insane. Oh, it, it was, it's great. It's always good to come here, but I think a lot of, I think it made it more sweeter for Celtic fans, the fact that Rangers drop points and they're at the top of the table and we've kind of took stick from it for, from their, their their fans this season so far but um, it, it was good that Abada's goal was great down to 10 men as well so. Were you getting nervous? Oh definitely mate I think you've seen that in the vlog as well it's just so so frustrating that the build up we couldn't score so many chances I mean yeah. the United keeper had a great save for Kukamakis' chance but then yeah. when the goal goes in and 60,000 days are just pandemonium yeah. it's unreal so some people yeah. had left early, left early hadn't they yeah, I couldn't was, believe that I couldn't was, believe the empty seats like I no way I remember there was a guy that left about 75 minutes he must have just been 18 and he's like this is such and such I'm yeah. going to the pub so <laughs> yeah. uh, we were laughing at that when we left but, but yeah nah, great game and so Celtic have won a lot of games this season by just a goal. Why do you think that is? I think, I think, um, oh, they've got the, the grass in the <laughs> Yeah, getting the pitch ready for the old firm derby there, there you go. I think, uh, I think when you look at the goal Celtic have scored, I mean, we've, we've put six past Dundee, St Mirren, um, Dundee United have been a tough, two tough games. I think we've yeah. driven them home here yeah. earlier on each and then yesterday was 1-0. I think we've had Kyogo out, who's kind of our main man. We lost Edward in the summer, so Kyogo's been out injured as well. Uh, Maeda, obviously, just now away to um, Japan. Yeah. So st stuff like that. Um, Jota been injured, then Jukimaka's been injured. We've, we've been really, really struggling with injuries. So, but um, I think the most, most important thing is we've been improving defensively yep. as, as each week goes on. So uh, hopefully a barrel load on Wednesday. And uh, how well has has Ange done this season? keeping in touch and distance with Rangers considering how badly last season went? I think he's done a great job. I mean, without without maybe trying to get too many bites, I think what he's achieved in six months is better than what, like, say, for instance, Gerrard achieved in the time that he was there. He's won a trophy. He's come into a squad which was a dressing room was split. And uh, he seems to have so much class who's now. I mean, he really knows how to represent the club, yeah. not just in football terms, but out, out with that. So. Uh, yeah, made some great signings, some signings that shocked everybody. I mean, when I think it was Talksport, Alan Brazil was like, Ange Postacuglu, like, couldn't even, didn't even know yeah, his name. Yeah. The guys came in and showed There was everybody. a lot of unknowns, especially with Kyogo and yeah, the other Japanese exactly. players, and now look how well they've done. It turns out they've been him, James, and Ange has certainly been one, so uh, hopefully it's a treble this season, but we'll see. Have you been to many old firm derbies before? Yeah, I've, I've been to a few. Uh, when I was young, a lot you're not allowed to go to a lot of them when you're young, just because how they can be sometimes. Uh, I remember my first one; it wasn't great at all. It was uh, four two. We get beat. Daniel Kuzan was uh, the man that day, so that was my first. But I've been I've been to a great few. Um, one at Hamden, I remember well. The two 0 game. Um, there's there's been a few, but um, that you never forget. I'm not special, aren't they? Of course. And how? big is it and what does it mean to the people of Glasgow and Scotland as well I suppose mate it's, it's and I, I might be biased growing up being a Celtic fan and, and I'm sure other fans will say the same it's the big I think it's the biggest derby certainly in Europe I can't judge others because I haven't been outside Europe don't watch football really outside of Europe mm -hmm. but everything that comes with it like even the politics the religion the, the history all of that when you put all that into the football clubs and it, it's just it's a, I think it's a it's special. Yeah. yeah, it is definitely is. Why is it so big? Do you think it is all the kind of social stuff as well that goes along with it? I think I, th I think so. I think like 
so many people in Scotland like work Monday to Friday to go to the football on a Saturday and it's like that all over the country like in England wherever so but for these clubs how long they've gone the history that it's especially Celtic have like it means so much to the fans so uh, yeah it means everything mate. and there will be no away fans will there no why is that and what do you think about that all it's just Rangers kind of stopped Celtic going in first fair enough yeah, but yeah. Celtic haven't let them back in as well but yeah. it's one of the ones it's like it's tit for tat and it's gone too it far is, it's tit for tat it's gone too far it's starting to ruin the best fixture in, in, in the country genuinely and, and one of the best fixtures in the world yeah. so. I know I'm interviewing you here but it does really annoy me like I see it as, a, as a, even as a neutral like this is the biggest this is what puts Scottish football on the map and you're not letting away fans yeah. in it's like I know that Rangers were the first ones to say we don't want any Celtic fans or less Celtic fans or whatever yeah. and now it's gone so far that you don't get any away fans mm -hmm. what can the clubs do to like change it and just get it back to normal God knows it's gone too far hasn't it five, five line box and charity match between <laughs> yeah. the two chairmans or something God knows but uh, they'll just I hope hopefully it does get sorted because it's good like especially at home or if Rangers fans are up and they're giving you a bit and you're giving them a bit it gets you in the mood for the game it gets you pumped up but if Celtic go a goal up on Wednesday early on or whatever then the atmosphere's bouncing and it puts yeah. real pressure on Rangers from, from the get go and you're obviously a massive Celtic fan but would you want to see a big section of Rangers fans here for the game? I wouldn't say a big section I think I'd like to see us get equal amounts, whatever that is, whether it goes back up to the 7,000 odd or... That's what I mean, would you like to see it back to that or would you just not, like to see no, even just a three, slither of it? I think yeah. three, three yeah. and a half, um, yeah. maybe something like that, I, I, maybe when, when you think about it because you'd love to have more, more, more home fans means a better advantage for yeah. Of What are your thoughts on Rangers this season, firstly? I don't, I don't watch them. From a football perspective, yeah. From a football yeah. Perspective, I don't watch their games really, so I'm not going to sit here and say like I do. Really, you, you know how busy we are sometimes, mm -hmm. we really get a chance to watch our own team yep. all the time. Yep. Uh, but I think the top of the league, so they're, they're obviously doing well. Um, I think they've got a couple of players leaving those at Barris, which is who I'll be leaving, so they might lose a couple of assets. Talk of players coming in today and deadline day, uh, so not too not too really sure um, as such. I don't really want to comment or make a make a wild guess, but uh, I think Celtic at home have to have to win. Yeah. Uh, Is you know, there any players that you're worried about from Rangers specifically about in the offer? Well, you, you could say their new signing Diallo. Like if he comes with like nearly a forty million pound price tag mm -hmm. and he's playing at a club like Man U, he's obviously no. No mug, so yeah, yeah. He, he's going to come up there. I think he scored uh, on Saturday. I believe he scored the first. So um, maybe him. Not seen a lot of him. Uh, I don't think we've got Morelos so. though. Is he injured? I think he's playing with Colombia. Oh, okay, right, of but course, yeah, I think yeah. He scored once against his enemy. So but Furuhashi might be out as well. You're saying? Yeah, Furuhashi, Furuhashi, as it stands, injured. Of uh, course, yeah. It's a South American game, so yeah, yeah. yeah Morelos so yeah. is obviously away. Kukimakis yeah. was. Wasn't the greatest. At the Both weekend, squads are kind of depleted. You yeah, reckon, very so? depleted. And we've not got our full starting midfield three of McGregor, Turnbull, and, and Rogic. So it's, it's, it's one of the hardest ones to predict. Give me your. Uh, well, that's going to be my next question. Yeah. What is your prediction? Score and you got, got who's to, going to play well and. Got to believe in your team. So I, I, do you know what? I'm going to go three 0 Celtic because if it's three 0 Celtic, then I'll be able to relax a wee bit if we're up three by three goals. If not, I'll be a nervous wreck. All and how would that set up the rest of the season then? Obviously, what was it? A 25 point gap last season to then possibly if Celtic win this game they all go ahead of Rangers which is but yeah. at the start of the season no one would have thought that yeah to, to say it's a league deciders maybe a bit too early however I think if Celtic win on Wednesday with the team we've currently got out and who we've got fit then we are a really good step to go on and win massive the turning point yeah exactly Nice, well mate, I hope you enjoy and uh, yep. everyone, as I would have mentioned earlier, I'll link uh, your channel below and everyone can check out your old firm video when it comes out, yeah. the day after or maybe the day of the game? Oh, it depends on Celtic when, it could be, <laughs> it could be in the morning after, but uh, yeah, it'll be out at some point. Bye. Happy days mate, enjoy the game. Enjoy.
Just to wrap up the video there, I did actually go to the Celtic Club shop, as you would have seen. So there will be an Instagram post on screen right now. All you got to do is go to the pinned comment, like the post, follow me and tag one friend. Um, I've done loads of these giveaways before. You don't have to unfollow and refollow. Just keep following. You can enter as many times as you want by tagging one friend in each comment. So tag Dave in one, then do another comment where you tag Paul, and then another comment where you tag Brendan. I'm looking at Brendan Rogers. Then one where you tag Neil. I'm looking at Neil Lennon. So um, yeah, if you want to if you want to enter multiple times, you can. Um, like I say, like the post, follow me, and just comment once to enter. But the more comments the more entries basically yeah a massive thank you for watching and a huge thanks to juddy for coming on as well it's great to hear his thoughts he will be coming to the game i sadly don't have a ticket and i like gold dust old firm ticket so hopefully um, within me uploading this video someone might dm me with a spare who knows um but yeah i really hope uh, i really hope it goes well for everyone it's a huge game um it's on a knife edge it really really is i mean especially with rangers drawing and celtic winning in the last minute this seems like the biggest old firm derby in a very very long time and like i say i hope you all enjoy it um as much as you can depending on how the result goes for you if you're a rangers or a celtic fan i'm a complete neutral um, i just want to see good football between the two um but yeah i just hope it's a cracking game a massive thank you for watching do check out juddy's channel that is all linked in the description box below if you can remember to hit that like button subscribe that'd be amazing remember you can win the the stuff that I've got here from the Celtic Club shop. I'll leave some videos on screen. Please do click on one to carry on watching. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next one.